Hi, I just wanted to share with you a quick hint uh, tip for something that might make your life a wee bit easier if you end up in the same sort of place as I do. This is a globe that I had to produce for a 3D model. So this was a grayscale that was going to go into ZBrush and be um, created as a 3D model using an alpha. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is the lines of latitude and longitude and a quick way of, of building those with a bit of precision. Uh, they're easy enough to do, I guess, in Illustrator or Affinity, but it's a little bit annoying. The curves here are quite shallow. Um, they're not that easy to put together. You've got to line everything up. It's a bit time consuming. I didn't want to spend that time, so I wanted to find an easier way. Uh, so this drawing, just to give you a bit of background, here's quite an easy um, rough map of the world which I tidied up later. I stuck uh, radial fill over the top of that to give it a, a dome 3D effect when it comes into ZBrush and then the radial lines are vectors that go on top of that. So the solution I found was to use Inkscape, the free uh, vector editing app Inkscape, Inkscape which I'll put a link to in the comments. And inside Inkscape under the extensions menu if you go down to the render section is a function called wireframe sphere. And the wireframe sphere, we'll take on live preview, creates a wireframe sphere. You can adjust the number of uh, lines of latitude and longitude. You've got full control over that. Let's knock that down a little bit to make it easier to see. You can adjust the angle of tilt depending on how you want to view your globe and you can rotate it as well. You can't really see that it's rotated much there, but it, it has done. Um, what makes it really interesting is this little box here. Click that and it hides all of the lines that run behind the horizon of the outer shape. So if you uncheck that, you can see everything that's going on. Check it and it hides them, which means when you export it, if you export it with them unhidden, you get all of these lines and that becomes a little bit awkward, requires a bit of tidying up. You export it like this and you only get the lines that you can see. And there we have it. Once it's done, select it, export it, job done. 